What's up, everybody? This is Yeti Harold, and welcome back. Welcome back to some more Sandman. Now, last time we left off in this game, um, I don't remember. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Um, I completely forgot what I was doing. Wow. Um. Oh yeah, going to find her father at a uh, JP something or other. Uh, wherever that is. is this it right here? Oh. I guess I can just walk right in now. The door was locked before. Employee of the month, Chuck Filer. Failure? For successful bonds offering to Street State Bank. Weird glasses on this guy. Sorry, but good work doesn't excuse the degree of lameness. That guy probably makes bank. A card reader. This door won't open without a pass. I don't have one of those. It won't open. Hmm. Should I go back to... I th I'm going to see if I can go back to her house and uh, check her dad's room. Hospital, yeah. Cafe, yeah. Uh, I think this is it. There might be people awake. I should go look. I can't go back in the house? What? Locked up tight. Well, there might be people awake, so should I check the people? No, there wouldn't be a security card in the boutique. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe there's something in here. Maybe it's him. I gotta find him. Where is he? I bet you he's asleep out here somewhere. I just gotta find him. Oh man. I feel so smart right now. I never figure stuff like that out at first. Now I just gotta keep walking. Isn't he the guy by the, the convenience store? Um. Is it that guy? Nope. I thought it was that guy. What's this? Greenfield Heights. Seems like an apartment building. Oh, that's where I got the ladder. <sighs> I just gotta keep walking around until I find something. That's not him. That's a girl. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. No, that's another girl. Come on. Is there something in that tree? Oh no, it's just a gap in the branches. Um. Oh, that's a fence. I can't get over that. Is there something? A factory. Is there something back here? Nope. Something. Nope, it's blocked by debris. Or rocks. What? What is that pile of rocks doing there? Oh, come on, where is this guy? <sighs> this is going to take forever. I'm never going to find him. This is where the game ends, guys. Thanks for watching. This is why I... I mean, I enjoy playing games like these, but it's like... The tediousness. There's so much... There's little things that just... They're so easy to miss. Like whenever I, I was walking around for about an hour, and uh, where you get the town map. Bank is locked up tight. Oh my lord. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a minute. Aha! It was the guy from the subway. Here we go, employee pass. Sorry, Mr. Chuck, I'll just be borrowing this. <laughs> Indefinitely. Do -do 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 -do. Got Chuck Failer Filer's employee pass. Is he Chuck Filer because all he does is file? <laughs> no. 
Gotta walk all the way back up there. Walking. Oh, there's so much walking in this game. I hope I'm going the right way. Um. Can't remember. Oh. Uh, no, that's the hospital. I think it's one over to the right. Yep. Do I use the card? Oh, swipe the employee pass. What? She just kind of like teleported. Gotta look for that. Some documents. For security purposes, all rooms auto lock at 10 p.m. They cannot be entered from outside. Those who remain past 10 must make an advance request for a time to keep the locks open. No scanner. Looks like a machine controlling all door locks. Oh, things are about to get real confusing, aren't they? Most of these rooms are locked. Asset management where Dad works is open. The only other one is a meeting room. You mean guard room? First off, the room for Dad's division. Well, where am I right now? I, let me look at it. Stop putting that text box up. It's on the third floor. Okay, first floor... Second floor. Locked. Locked. Where's the stairs? Where's the stairs? Why would you put the stairs? You should put staircases like... Like, the stairs go up, and then you turn right around, the stairs go up here. You shouldn't have it like that. That's stupid. Okay. Investment banking division. Extra market division. Global bond market division. This is all sounds really boring. Asset Management Division. Google Computer's on. Shelves are locked. Shelves are locked. And cubicles, blah, blah, blah. It's a photo of me. This must be Dad's desk. And the computer's still on. He must be in here somewhere. Maybe in the meeting room. Oh. Sheesh, what an old picture to keep around. This must be from when I was in kindergarten. Oh, flashback. Papa, Papa. Hey, hey, I drew a picture of school today. It's Papa and Sophie. Want to see? I see. I'd love to see it. But, sorry, Papa's a little tired. Can you show me tomorrow? You got it. Also, today, I went looking for chupacabras with Regan and her friends. But we didn't find any. I told teacher, and she said chupacabras only live in the South. Too bad. Why would you... As a child... Who thinks, hey, I'm going to go find these extremely dangerous, terrifying monsters. So I want to go south <laughs> and look for chupacabras. You can come with me too, okay, Papa? Sorry, Sophie. Papa's really busy with work. We can't go on vacation for a while. No, I want to go tomorrow. Come with me, Papa. We'll catch chupacabras together. All right, Sophie. We can go looking this weekend. Can you wait until then? Hooray! I can't wait. Dot, 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 question? She doesn't know about her dots. Papa, did you drink some juice? I want juice, too. No, I didn't drink any juice. Is he bleeding? No, uh you've got some tomato juice on your mouth. Huh? Ah. Uh. Uh-oh. I have a feeling it's about to get sad. <clears throat> and you know, I was opposed to it in the first place. Juggling a child with that strenuous work? What a stubborn brother, I'll tell you. Wants to honor my sister-in-law. So what? No point in if you collapse from overwork. So it was, it's just, like, stress? She needs to be put into in an institution. Too true. Until I've got two kids already, so I can't take her. Maybe I should recommend him an institution. Institution for what? Auntie. Sophie, there you are. What happened with Papa? Does his tummy hurt? And Sophie, your Papa pushed himself a little too hard. It's hard to say, Papa, Papa, Papa pushed. So yes, his tummy hurts. Is Papa gonna die? Like Mama? 
Why, surely... Oh, that's really sad. Oh, that's so sad. If you be a good girl, Sophie, I'm sure your papa will get better soon. Really? Yes, of course. Okay, Sophie, be a good kid and don't worry about your papa. Papa, da da da. I'm sorry, Papa. I got all selfish and made you worry, and I made your tummy hurt. I won't be selfish anymore. Nuh uh. I won't ask for ice cream before bed. I'll eat my broccoli and liver. Ew. Who makes their kids eat liver and onion? Why is liver and onions even like a a children's. Like, kids are like, oh, I don't want to eat my Brussels sprouts. I don't want to eat my vegetables. And then, like, liver and onions. Where did that come from? And I won't cry when you're not there. I'll learn to sleep on my own. I'm going to look that up because I want to know who made their kid eat liver and onions so often that it became a stereotypical food that kids don't want to eat. Like, so please get better soon, Papa. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of things that kids don't want to eat, like regular vegetables or, you know. But that's like being like, oh, I don't want to eat my sheep intestines and hummus. Like, it's so random. Liver and onions. I hope he's okay. I should find him quickly. That was my little food rant. I just don't I don't get it. All right. No, I don't want to eat the chair. I mean, touch talking about food. I don't even know where I'm going. I got distracted. Freaking liver and onions. Alright, going. I guess I'm going to go back down and find the meeting room. I got to go all the way back down and look at that thing to figure out where the meeting room is. General Affairs Division. Um, stairs. Guard room. The meeting room is on the fifth floor. I couldn't see because of that freaking text box. Thanks, Sophie. Oh, all the way up to the fifth floor. Because the stairs are so far apart from each other. What is this, the fourth floor? Oh, there's a... Some... Nope! Nope! Oh, no. That's not happening. See you later. Bye-bye. Uh, meeting room three. Oh, you, p p Papa. Papa, what is it? Sophie, why are you here? Sophie, run away! It's dangerous here. It's coming. What's coming? What is coming? A fucking dragon! Whoa! Hold the fucking phone! Oh, I'm sweaty. Look at that. This game's got me sweaty. Woo! How the hell is there a dragon? Sophie, run! Oh, yes! This music! Oh, this music is fucking awesome. Oh, God. I died. I that music. I couldn't... <laughs> this game just got... No, no, no. I hit new game. <sighs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh, dragon. Go, 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 go! This way, this way. Oh my god! This isn't even scary, this is freaking awesome! When I do that, I can't see clearly. Oh, stairs! No! I'm running away from a freaking dragon right now. Get him, get him, get him! Is she bleeding? 
Oh, I bet she's bleeding. Oh, no, it was just her hair. What? I don't understand now. Oh, my mouse. It's a dream. This has to be... Yeah! Yeah, this has to be a dream. <laughs> I'm having an awful nightmare. Because I can't explain it. Black shadows... Yeah! A fire-breathing dragon! Like, what?! Let me wake up. I don't even want to sleep if this is the kind of dream I'll have. And if I can't wake up, then help. Oh, I bet she's in a coma. And th this whole game is her in a coma. I'm calling it. David, help. That's why David's here. It's a coma. That's why David's the one awake, because she knows David personally. All the people she knows are awake. So it's got to be. I can't, I can't go in there. Oh, I just dropped. Oh, look at her. She's, like, upset now. Something's on the ground. One of her teeth? Got a lost tooth. Why would I need that? Oh, man, she looks distressed. Now to go down. Can I go to the hospital and get it fixed? Oh, no, that's a dentist. I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. That's probably the only safe place. All right, come into the park. Nobody's here. I thought David went into the hospital. Oh, what's going on? David's not here yet. Uh -uh. I guess I have to. Huh. I want to ride ya. Man, you teleport, don't you? Nothing. I'm gonna save. I gotta make sure my mic's plugged in, cause that's what happened with Mad Father. I recorded, and this thing right here has a mic and headphones, and the mic one was unplugged just a little bit, so I didn't record the audio. That's what happened. So I gotta make sure that that's plugged in. So, let's go in. Wait, let's go in that door. Of course it's locked. Oh, God. Did it go upstairs? Let me check everything first. Flowers, a phone. Uh, apparently that's absolutely nothing. The stove, the sink, trash can, the refrigerator. There's stuff on shelves and a clock that I can't check. What? A sleeping woman. A small dresser. Shelves, trash can. I can't tell if that's TV static or rain. That's TV static. What? No, no way. That can't be. Why? Why what? 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 Okay. Did you find your father? I did, but he's gone. Gone? What do you mean? You got separated? Something like that. I see. Sorry I couldn't find your friends. I wonder where they could be. I searched the town over again, but I haven't found anyone awake. No choice but to look harder, I guess. Let's go, Sophie. We have to find your father and friends. Just who are you? Yeah! Good question. Huh? What do you mean, Sophie? I bet it was David! He was on a couch that was, like, turned the other way so you couldn't see over it. And why this all of a sudden? Who am I? David, of course. Liar! Because, because David isn't... I knew it! He's asleep. So who are you? Not seeing what you mean here, I'm me. Don't go asking me who I am, sheesh. First of all, you say I was sleeping over there? Maybe Sophie's asleep too. Let's say it's true. Why wouldn't that one be the fake? Because he's not. Because you already lied to me. When? Stay away. Don't get any closer. I forgot I was, I was just concentrated. Who the hell are you? Why do you look like David? The jig is up. 
Looks like you got me. Jeez. Wasn't my fault, at least. I'm sure it was his interference. Sheesh, what a pain in the neck. Did you do this? Did you put the town to sleep? Wasn't me. It was the Sandman. The S Sandman? You mean that fairy who... Yeah, you know him, don't you? Use his sleeping sand to put humans to sleep. Well, he put all the humans in the world. In the world! Forever. Why? Do you think I'm stupid? The same man put the whole world to sleep? As if fairies actually exist. Oh, and now you don't believe it? After seeing shadows, soldiers, fire-breathing dragons? How do you know about the dragon? I am the dragon. What? So you did all of that? Yeah, that's it. I'm l Lullaby, one of Saint Man's creations. Lullaby. Saint Man put everyone into eternal sleep. He used a special sleeping sand different from his usual. He stopped time and scattered the sand worldwide. Humans fell asleep while the time... Why isn't his name changed to Lullaby? But not everyone. Sophie. There are people like you. I guess you call them insomniacs. So there are others awake? Yeah, here and, and there around the world. So the same man brewed up a plan for them, and he made me lullaby. The ones who can't sleep are uneasy, angry, impatient. How do you put those people to sleep, do you think? Clear up those feelings. Erase their worries and grant their desires. Satisfy them. That's what my job is. If someone can't sleep out of worry about their work, if I sing them a lullaby of a successful project, a woman vexed by romance, a lullaby of hooking up, children in places of war terrified of gunshots, I sing them a lullaby that the war is over. Then they can all sleep peacefully. Hold it right there. Then that makes all the stuff I've seen <coughs> my lullaby for you, Sophie. No way. What kind of lullaby is that? I wouldn't be put at ease by that. That's the stuff of nightmares. You should be more honest with yourself, Sophie. Didn't you feel such disdain for your friend saying she worried but never acting on it? Wait, did that didn't sound right. Didn't you feel such disdain for your friend saying she worried but never acting on it? Oh, so it's talking about her talking to him about Regan. Didn't you want her to be condemned as a liar? Oh, no, no, not Regan. Um, Anne. Didn't you want revenge on the girl who was once a close friend but now bullies you? Didn't you want her to be executed in front of everyone? Stop it. Didn't you want the company that took your father from you to go up in flames? And for him to be at a loss? Yeah. Oh, Sophie, you should have just not done anything. Just watch them suffer as you wished. If you had, by now you would have been able to sleep peacefully. Where's the Sandman? Why do you ask? I'm going to stop him. Putting everyone to sleep is no joke. I'm not going to let him do that. <clears throat> but why did he do it? Take my hand, Sophie. What? You want to go where the Sandman is, yes? I'll take you there. Why? Really? You do realize I want to stop him. Aren't you on his side? I can't go against your wishes. It's my job to grant them. That's a fair point. Da -da 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 -da. Are you scared? Uh, yeah. Take me to this. What was that dog? Why was there like a giant dog thing just like crawling around telling me wh where David is? Ooh, cool. Where is this? Is this where the Sandman lives? Huh? That guy is gone. Time to go it alone, is it? Very well, I'll go. Alone. Alright! Well, I'm gonna cut it there. This game is getting so good. I love this storyline. But, uh, be sure and come with me on my next adventure when I play the Sandman part... What part is this? This is part three. When part four. Yeah, part four of the Sandman. Um, until then, have a great adventure.
Okay, bye. Actually, this was kind of a long episode. Sorry about that, guys. It's very long, but the storyline is kind of just big, big spots. Anyway, okay, bye. Jump.